this is not a book about the chili peppers, but Anthony Kiedis does play a part in it. Absolutely. And you, so you, you met him in high school. Yeah. And it was like like instant attraction, essentially. I mean, yeah. I see my opposite number. Yeah, we fell in love, <laughs> you know. Um, I met him when I was 15. And, uh, you know, we both just started the 10th grade at Fairfax High School <clears throat> in Hollywood. And, and we were like almost immediately like in love and at war you know what i mean it's like this has it stayed that way ever and it stayed that way ever since and and it's the thing that i try to express about our relationship you know and i write about my childhood and he's a huge part of my childhood and became my family i mean we were inseparable for many years like especially when we were young it was like every single day we were together and, um, you know, you get older and you get different houses and you don't have to live together and you, you have girlfriends and you get separated more. Um, but it, from the, the thing that I try to express about it in my book is that from the very beginning, I remember my mom, you know, rest in peace, who told me uh, a few years before she died, she said, you know, I remember when you came home, you were 15. And it's hard because I get, um, she said to me, she's like, Michael, you came home and you were all lit up. And you said, you said, mom, mom, I finally found someone I can talk to. And, um, I really did, no. you know, and, um, you know, like any really close brotherly relationship, it's, you know, yeah. we go at each other too, but I was there. I found someone I could communicate with in a, in a way and in a profound way that I hadn't had before. Yeah. And, um, and, you know. Here we are, forty something years later. <laughs> Did you have yeah. any inkling at the time that this would go on beyond, you know, a couple seasons in the sun? I had an inkling that it was. I knew that it was big, and it, I felt forces beyond mm. me, like bringing us together. Um, I had no idea about a professional life or anything like that, and I still sometimes I often feel that like you know the longevity of our band and everything. It's not, you know, I know our band's been successful and all that. But it's not so much the band itself mm-hmm. that does it and all the professional obligations and stuff. And, you know, our desire to try to continue to be a, in a, 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 a evolving artistic and entity. Mm-hmm. But, but like our band is a vehicle for the thing because we're just because we're supposed to be together in this life. Yeah. And the band is just a thing that keeps us there as opposed to the band keeping us together. I mean, as opposed to the band keeping us together, our friendship is a thing that... It's like the universe has decided, well, here's this thing that'll keep them together, so just do that. 